Today we're making a Dollar Tree witch's hat. Keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna take a Dollar Tree witch hat form. I'm gonna take a piece of white board that came from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna trace out the cone top part. And I'm going to be cutting that out. I wanna get some structure to this thrifted piece of burlap scrap that I have here. And I don't want you to be able to see through it, so this is gonna make it opaque. We're just gonna lay the form on top. I'm gonna make a little slit for the bottom. You don't have to do this. You could cut it all flush if you wanted, but I think this will give it a little more room to make it stick down. And I don't want anything coming loose in case it's outside. So I'm gonna take some just regular old tape and tape everything in place. You could use any type of adhesive that you wanted. You could use hot glue, you could do all that, but I just didn't feel like the mess today. So this tape did the job perfectly. So now we have the top structure for our witch's hat. I'm gonna take this scrap here and just glue that down. Now I'll be trimming up so I don't have too much bulk on the back of this. Be sure, since it's not glued down, that it's not slipping over where you don't have enough to glue down. There's one little space where I, I really pushed it. Cut it a little too short. But I made it work. See that little corner? Not very much to stick down there. But learn from my mistake. Now I'm just protecting my fingertips. Because this glue is really, really hot, you can use a little spatula or a stick or anything like that. Just be sure that you don't get your fingers on this. The burlap is, has lots of little holes in it and that glue will bubble right through there and get you. All right, I'm just using a clamp to hold that in place and it worked fine. Then I'm gonna take these pipe cleaners. These are the black ones from Dollar Tree in the Halloween section. And I'm going to be marking this mesh at 10 inches. I'm gonna show you how I make my first roll. The black and white check, or buffalo check, is actually out of the Christmas section, so that was pretty cool. And it feels like a better quality than this Halloween mesh. I should have gotten more for sure. So I'm just rolling this. It's about the diameter. The tubes are ending up about the diameter of a quarter. And I'm just gonna roll these together and put the rough side down. And then there you go. There's the bundle. All right. I'm gonna make little pom-poms to put on my wreath. And as usual, I'm slightly out of frame over there. All you do is take a couple of feet of it and wrap it around your hand. Then you're going to slip it off. You're going to take a piece of pipe cleaner or string or jute cord or whatever you want to use, even floral wire, if that's what you want it to use. And you're going to wrap around about an inch on the bottom. All right. Do that good and tight because you're going to be cutting here in a minute. All right, you just go through the bottom and cut it, and there you go. It'll just puff right out for you. Going to make several of these. I think I ended up with three or four of these. Cutting through the bottom loop there, fluffing it out, and then just trimming off the, to make it even. Okay, so I have a bunch of those little bundles. You know, you've seen me use those before. They just have the little pipe cleaner around them. And you're gonna start filling up the bottom all around the brim of this witch's hat. Play around with it, move them around. There's really no rhyme or reason to where you put these bundles as long as you don't have any empty spots. And I didn't like how those lined up, so I'm just moving that down to the next row. 
if you get enough on there, they won't move around on the wire. If you if they're sliding around, then you don't have enough in there. So just keep adding them, get it thick, and just keep going with it. I think I ended up making probably, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, probably 15 of these. But you know, you can just make more if you need to make more. And I just alternated with the orange, the checkerboard, and the black. You do that all the way to the end. Then I'm gonna use these little pom-poms that I made with um, the sheer fabric. And just poking those in there randomly. Oh, she's dropping by a little early. I'm not done with your hat yet. And just place them wherever you want to. Now we're going to work on the hat band. This witch has to have a band on her hat. So I'm gonna start off with the Dollar Tree ribbon on the bottom. So far, everything we've used has come from the Dollar Tree with an exception of the burlap. So we're just trying to decide where I want this and I want it high enough up that it's not sitting in the mesh tubes down there because then I won't be able to see it. So again, safety first, protect your fingers. This ribbon coordinates very nicely with the the rest of the little the bottom of the hat there okay so i'm going to take this black and white chevron ribbon and i'm going to put that on the top it's not quite as wide so you can still see the ribbon that's underneath it you can see the pattern pretty well I'm just going to glue that one down right in the center of it and then i'll trim it up to make it look neater This would obviously be put on a solid wall or door. If you have a glass door, you're going to want to do something else to cover up the back. Maybe wrap the entire thing in burlap, put the band all the way around. Now this is just a little sign that I have that I got ages ago. And I'm going to make a little bow to put next to it. So I want that little blackboard sign to be a an adornment for the witch's hat and it's just it's wood it's kind of lightweight so I've just made a little makeshift bow here I'll add a third lip uh, third loop shortly and put some hot glue down on here all right and now we're going to make a little bow for the top you can see two 12 inch pieces with a piece of that mesh tubing there I'm gonna wrap it with a pipe cleaner. I'm going to use this on the end of the hat, right up there on the tip. So I just chose some of these 3D stickers that I've had in my scrapbook pile and I put that down in the center of my little embellishment there on the hat band. Now I'm using some of this vase filler to add a couple of little bubbles here and there forgive my dog the yard people are here she's not happy about it okay so you see the little bow on the end I just took the bow that we made and then I stuck a little one of those pom-poms right in the center of it and then I'm going to put one of these little balls right in the center of that Fluff everything out. Make sure that you have a good representation of all of your colors there. You don't want anything mashed down or disappearing. And then to hang it, I'm just going to use a pipe.
pipe cleaner with hot glue and a little piece of scrap paper. And just made a little loop there like a hairpin. And secure that down. This little witch's hat is going to fit in wonderfully with the rest of my orange, black, and white theme for Halloween 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll go get one of these before they disappear so you can do your own craft. Thanks for watching. Be sure you subscribe for more, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!